uh, hi everyone so let's start building a simple example use case so this is the message start okay and here we are going to use this gateway and this gateway is going to call these different events okay let's do this change this to the message start message end event okay here we are going to have multiple conditions this will also be a message end event this will be message end event right now we can do multiple things uh, this is a start and here you can define the expression see same kind of expression we have defined here okay let's say i want to do execute one particular vpm and, and here we are talking about simple examples right so let's say uh, here i'm saying test or uh, let's say weather here i'm executing something else which is about publishing the news and here something about the politics okay these can be independent bpms and based on these conditional flows we are executing this is a default gateway okay you can uh, also i mean you can do a lot of things here you can have a service task and that service task can give you some data based on that this will decide okay what needs to be done here we can attach a service task or you can populate that data directly by calling this bpmn we can say collect action that will decide okay what action you wanted to take and this is a service task which will be external okay and this is let's say action or let's say define action okay this is my topic based on the define action we are going to populate this type variable and based on the type we are going to execute these independent bpms let's say uh this is the message end event so here the implementation will be kernel Just say it should be it should be expression. Okay, and here what expressions we are putting the the data if you wanted to send some data while calling this, but we don't have a data. Let's keep it like this. And here, which BPM and you are going to execute? Okay, so I will just populate the same ID. And here we have, let's say, we we are executing this BPM and so this will be converted as a message start event using this one. And we don't need it. We might need it. Here it is going to check for the holiday, and we'll populate some data for us. And here it is going to return a boolean is holiday or is not holiday, right? So this is BPMN, and here this is our parent. Here we are deciding which BPMN we are going to call. So I will just say this is like a holiday check. Okay. And here also we'll just keep it is instead of weather holiday check. If type is holiday check, let me save it. It's popping up every time. Okay, this is saved. This is also saved. So this is our parent. Now type is holiday check. It is going to execute this BPMN. And we have this. 
you have to put a particular message name right so it is holiday check we'll save it this should also be a holiday check so this is our initiator check the name should be holiday check is fine now we can do a lot of other things also type news so there can be another bpmn which is handling news if there is a no particular match found then we can delegate this to the user task also directly end this So this is user task. If nothing is getting matched, it will directly delegate to this particular one. So currently we are, I mean, you can create independent workflow that is plain and simple. Here we are talking about this particular thing. We are passing the type holiday check and this is going to execute this particular BPMN. And whatever the data we have, it is going to pass down to the holiday check. And this is our holiday check BPMN message start event. Okay, we can just put a holiday check and then this is a topic right so what we can do here is this is external and the topic can be holiday check I think we have only this collect action so now we have two external tasks this one and this one and based on that this is deciding okay where to go and what we will do is now let's do this practically. We will deploy these two BPMNs and we will configure these external tasks also to the, the Node JavaScript client. We will populate some variables while this is being executed. We will send type holiday check. This will call this particular BPMN and then this particular service task will return us some data like is holiday. Then it will either go here or either go here. Okay. Let's see that in the practical in the next video. Uh, thanks everyone.